Yes. Is, it looks like the X50 bus down this road here. Okay, it's basically um, our traction. Basically means, basically mean that I missed the bus. Time I got out the venue, I was already too late for the bus. Thing is that I've got the key. The thing is, I got the key, which doesn't help at all. Not in my situation at all. I've got the key to the to the to the front door ish and and when I went to, see, there's no other no buses from going towards to the war museum north from this bus stop maybe in no bus stop I always can try another bus stop but I highly doubt it because I would have would have seen a bus come past and man why is it always happening to me why is it always happening to me I'm down here for quite a while and I am absolutely freaking annoyed. I am absolutely annoyed. He gave me, I had like an extra saver ticket so it would be used for one day and turns out I can't use the my ticket because of the X50 bus stops at 22, 21 something. Yeah, I'll show you the bus stop in a minute. I came out the bus stop, as you can see there's no X50 past 10 o'clock. Last one was like 21.45. And I didn't get the con out, I didn't get out the con at 24.5. And I got a situation again. Like I explained before, I have to walk home because I walked to the, to the flat because there's no other buses. And I got to go, I got to go to the Keys. Salford, because of the dumb, not dumb, I didn't cut that out. I got to go to the, because of the, the dumb bus service. There's no X50 at all, which is stupid. This is at least stupid. And I got to walk along this pave along this road. I've got to work out which way I'll turn again because of the bloody bus. Hopefully they're not waiting for me because man, I am annoyed. Because I've got to realise it's Sunday and my sip's opening up. And I'll talk to you in my next segment. Oh yeah. Hopefully this route doesn't take me ages. Thing is, those blue red lights if you can see them a part of me just sitting that's where i'm aiming at i'm aiming at for those red lights in the distance that is media city and hopefully it doesn't take too long at all okay yesterday okay yesterday when i was here there was puddles in the road because it had been raining in the, the previous day and i don't feel there's no puddles it wasn't raining today thank goodness it should be shouldn't be as much puddles like yesterday some mud here and there oh. see the red lights in the distance that is media city part of the bbc 93 group oh yes okay okay this area was slightly dark darker in front of me that's why i put the light on and did a flux open at the at the time See, if I turn this off, that's how dark it is. That's how dark it is. You, you can't see as much in the distance. But this, back down there, back down there is actually quite dark. Start from down here, it's not as dark. Uh, okay, and I will see you in the next segment. Oh, yes. Can you hear that, Skylar? That is the sound of ducks. You're saying a fart sounds like a duck. Oh, not your fart. Okay, it looks like I'm going down a different road um, to get back to Media City. Only because this is the way I panic to the, to the War Museum. And. I couldn't remember seeing that sign before. I'm still heading towards um, Major Sydney, and yes, it's still the way to 
I can't remember going down this road. Maybe it's just me. Yeah. Well. It's been an interesting walk already, isn't it? Is that you, Skyler? Anyway, I'll speak to you in my next segment. Oh, yeah. We've still got white daffodils growing in April. Or is it April? Hmm. Why do we have to... I don't know how daffodils can survive in this coldness. Yeah. Oh, well. So you've got yellow daffodils there, you've got white daffodils over there. And I'm walking home. Or the temporary home until tomorrow. Yes, and I see you. Oh, yes. This is the home of my mini vlog of Coronation Street. Coronation Street is here, filmed here. I'll be old location was um, taken down, or I don't know what that site is anymore. And this is the ITV um, for Coronation Street. I'm actually taking a different route this time. I'm actually taking a different route. Because I didn't remember seeing the warm museum down this road. I'm very sorry for the wind if you can hear it. It is a bit cold as well. It's very windy. And we should be at the war museum in a minute. Oh yes. <sighs> Arrived at the war museum. We're not too far from hopefully getting in. Very sorry about that. My uh, tripod hit the camera. I'm going to keep that in because I didn't realise. I just don't want to edit this segment. Anyway, we are close to getting back. Um, we do need to cross that bridge coming up now. And I can see the Holiday Inn Hotel, the BBC logo if you can see that, my camera's actually picking it up that is, and we should be in our uh, flat pretty shortly, oh yes. Hello I'm back, I'm back in the, in the flat, oh yes, the time is now actually 3.16am um, and Today we'll be leaving Manchester after an excellent, excellent buck and it was fantastic. It was fantastic. I even came close to just crying. Yeah. I don't mean I'm not actually crying now, but I am tired. But I am came close to crying. It was it was emotional. It was it was emotional and I didn't think that was going to happen, I did not, not, did not think that was going to happen. No, well, as we're leaving tonight, okay, as we're leaving today, are we back tomorrow or today for the last day of Manchester, of Buck, or 2016? Oh, yes. This is the end of Buck 2016. And this is the city of Manchester. Over there is the Holiday Inn. We've got the BBC buildings. In fact, this building here, on here, where it's connected to the flats, is also part of the BBC. BBC over there, BBC over there. Over there is the War Museum, north. Oh, yes. But hold on to my camera. And you can see miles and 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 miles okay
okay, I'm all packed, I'm all ready. Ready to go to back, I'm ready to go back to London. I'm ready to go back to London. Last view of the BBC and I'll defray before we leave. Goodbye BBC. I'll see you when I get home on the TV. Oh, yes. Now, what have we learned? Lots of control. Good. Screaming and hollering. Yes, and most importantly, passion. Right. So now that you know the elements of a good cheer, let's hear one. <laughs>
But, uh, you know, um, whatever you want to do is fine. Louder! Okay, I'm back in London. Oh, yes. Was well, actually on the 13th of May, and I did have some problems when it come when it came to um, finding my memory cards, for for example, and my PC not working. But that is all over. Yes, it's the end of the mini vlogs. The end of Buck of 2016. Oh yes, and it's been a marvelous, marvelous, fantastic time. At Buck, it was fantastic. It was actually fantastic, and I wish I can do this again. I will do this again, but there's something coming up very soon in the, on the on the YouTube on my pipeline, YouTube pipeline, very soon. But I do have to say this before I go. Thanks for liking and sharing this mini vlog and all my other mini vlogs across the YouTube spectrum. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Bye.